here at this static parking we have the Orlan 10E and Orlan 30. Those are the reconnaissance UAVs that have been heavily operated by the Russian land forces. One of those that have been operated during special military operation as for reconnaissance missions. Let's have a look at Orlan 10 at first. That is the reconnaissance UAV, as I previously told you. Its advantage is a number of various payloads that it can fit in. That is for the combined day TV camera, night camera, thermal camera, video camera, and together with the GSM load for detection of cellular phones and cellular networks. Its other uh, payloads are gyro stabilized day night cameras, and the last one, but not the least, is the equipment for radio monitoring of radio emitting objects. So, depending on the task, on the assigned task, you can vary those payloads. Just a couple of uh, specifications. The range via radio channel 120 kilometers, range in autonomous mode up to 500 kilometers. That is a huge figure for the tactical UAV. It proved to be re reliable and lots of images, videos, video footages that's been recorded have been displayed by this UAV. As for the Orlan 30, this UAV is mainly designed to provide reconnaissance and target illumination, laser illumination of targets with optoelectronic laser payload for correction and target designation of high precision weapons such as artillery shells or others with laser guidance system. Its maximum uh, endurance is eight hours. As for the Orlan 10E, no less than 10 hours. It was brief information. Once again, I'd like to mention that lots of laser illuminated targets were illuminated by Orlan 30. And uh, both of them are truly reliable. And what's important, they are easy to maintain, to operate, and to provide missions during highly intensive combat environment in the heavy, highly intensive combat environment.